Hi everybody, it's Cindy the Jewelry Nurse. This is going to be a quick video to um, do a couple of things I forgot last night. I know I told you I have this um, review to do. Oh, and as you can see, I'm wearing one of the necklaces I got in that jar. And you know what? I went today to buy a new copier for the office. And while I was at um, buying the copier, there was a girl that was really admiring my jewelry. And she helped me with the sale to buy the copy. It was at Best Buy. And she was really admiring my jewelry. And I meant to take this off and give it to her before I left. And I completely forgot. So I'm going to go back tomorrow and do that. But um, anyways, I had um, this review I was supposed to do from Follow Best last night when I recorded the other one. And I completely forgot, of course. Forgot to show you a couple of things. So... I'm going to go ahead and do a friend mail tonight, and I'm going to show you a few more items from my friend Cindy, who I'm selling her jewelry. I'm going to start listing it on eBay this week, so um, anything you see tonight, if you want, holler. If not, it'll be listed on eBay under her, and it'll be under Cynthia Krill. I think that's what we set up her username, but I'll let you all know for sure. I'll put the um the contact or the um link in my um underneath my video. But also I need to do the review from a company called Follow Best. And I know they've contacted a lot of you guys out there too, other YouTubers, to do reviews for them. And most people are a little leery because they want you to pay up front, but what I figured out, and there's a reason for that. And what I figured out is they are in China. They don't speak a word of English, so the communication with them is a little rough. Um, I started to realize that they weren't responding to some of my questions because they didn't understand my questions. And the company is based in China, but they do sell through Amazon. So I decided one of the items that they were offering me anyway to go ahead and take a chance because I liked them anyway. And if I figured if they didn't reimburse me like they said they would, then I just wouldn't do it again, but I'd have a nice pair of earrings. So I um, went ahead and did it, and I swear, like within two minutes after the sale went through, after me emailing them and telling them I'd made the purchase, they um, gave me back my money and all fees and everything. And I believe the reason they're doing that, and I couldn't get this out of them because, like I said, they weren't understanding any of my questions. But by by having you order it through Amazon Prime and then reimbursing you plus any fees like immediately, it saves them the time and the expense of shipping it all the way from China. It would take a long time for you to get it from China and it would cost them a lot more where the shipping is free through Amazon for you when you do it. And you know, like I said, they immediately pay you back. So, and then you get to keep the product. So, and, and then all you have to do is within seven days of getting it, um, just do a review. And it actually came a day early. It was supposed to come on Monday and it came on Sunday. But um, I'm going to go ahead and just get, re get the review over with. But it came in a mailer, padded mailer like this. I already cut it open just so I wouldn't have to do that. And then a box. A little white box. I haven't looked at it. I haven't opened it. All I did was cut it because I wanted my, you know, first reaction to be with in front of you guys. And then it's also inside a little back black box. But it's a company called um, Follow Best, and I believe they are, yeah, the Vibral Jewelers is how they're listed on eBay. Um, should be interested in purchasing from them. But nice box though. For this is the I paid their. Um, sterling silver with uh seven millimeter cubic zirconia earrings and i think it's a really nice box for a and it's a hard like plastic box but it's a nice box and it's padded on the top and has their name on it so my first impression is that it is a nice box for the purchase i mean for the amount for a you know 19 dollar pair of earrings it's a nice box oh wow and then the box has got velvet padding inside and then a little velvet pouch. So far, I am impressed with the packaging. Especially for like $19.95, no shipping. And then the earrings again are inside a little plastic pouch. 
So they get an A plus for packaging for sure. Next thing I want to see if the item is actually as described in on Amazon. So if some of you got that offer and you were considering it, go ahead and go for it because they do immediately pay you back. There was no issues there. Okay, those are really pretty. Very nice. They're open back. Really nice cubic. They're prong set. And then they have um, smaller cubics right along there. Wow, those are really pretty. So, uh, so far, they look very well made. Very well made. They're open back, too, even on the little tiny cubics up here. At least I'm assuming those are cubics. They didn't say. They, they did say these were, so I'm assuming the smaller ones are. But let me get my glass. I'm going to see if they're marked anywhere. Okay, so they're marked 925 right there on that part of the earring. The quality looks very good for $19. I'm um, pretty happy with them at this point. But I am going to wear them and see how comfortable they are. And then again on... Um, yeah, the quality is pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with them, actually. So the quality for $19... I mean, the quality period is good. They probably could sell these for a little bit more than $19.95, especially no shipping. So less than 20 bucks, you got a decent pair of earrings. Um, but I'm going to wear them, and then I'll let you know how comfortable they are. Oh, I'm wearing my... These both came from a jar, but I love both of these earrings, and neither one of them had a mate, especially these. Oh my god, I'm still looking for the mate from the same. Every once in a while, like many, many jars later, I'll get the mate to something. Aren't those beautiful? They even have like little gold stones, but I'm hoping to get the mate to that one. So I'm going to go ahead and put these earrings on. That one was kind of making my ear sore. I had it a little too tight. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put these on and wear them and see how comfortable they are. I will test the silver too. I don't think I need to, but I will anyway. But I'm thinking so far, I don't know, how about you, that they get an A so far because, and I did tell them, you know, I flat out told them if I don't like it, you know, it, even if, if, if I like the way it looks, but they're not comfortable, I'm going to say that too, but. I'm, I'm going to wear them and make sure that they hold up well and that they're comfortable. And I will test them tomorrow. A little too late to be messing with that right now, but I'll test them tomorrow. So, um, oh, let me find the hole in my ear. I have it irritated from that other earring right now. There we go. Yep, so I'll let you know, but I think they look pretty cute. They're not huge, so, you know, they're delicate. I mean, the stone is pretty good. The stone is 7 millimeter stone, so it's a fairly good size. But I, I, I think it's not too bad for $19.99. And the packaging was great. So I probably will, I probably would order from them again. And I probably would purchase if I was in the market for a pair of Cubic Zirconia Sterling Silver Earrings, I probably would purchase. But again, that was um, through a company called Follow Best that is based in China. And um, it... Four prong... Uh, yeah. Okay, so the, the jeweler is Vibril, V-I-B-R-I-L-L-E. And that's how they are listed on Amazon. So thank you for listening to that. I apologize, but... Uh, didn't know where else to review it other than to make y'all listen to me. So I got some friend mail um, from from another um, viewer. I don't know whether or not she gave me permission because I didn't check my email to see if she gave me permission to mention her name. But it's from, um, I won't tell you the last name, but it's from Kathleen. 
And if I do check my email and she said it's okay for me to go ahead and tell you, I'll tell you to um, on my next video who this came from. But this is like so sweet when y'all send me stuff. It's just like so amazing that you think of me um, enough to send me an actual something, anything. It's great. I mean, even a card would be awesome. You don't have to really don't have to do this but i'm so glad that you did because it gives me something to share with you all wow a lot of stuff in here let's see what we got miss kathleen um pretty handwriting <laughs> nice card oh thank you so there are people in our lives who are generally kind-hearted um, appreciating them just comes naturally. Thank you. Uh, she's asking if my husband has relations in Upper Pennsylvania. Um, looks like something Michigan. There's also something for you. I think that he does. He's got a lot of relation all over Pennsylvania. Okay, so I do remember her now saying something about rosaries. Just refresh my my memory reading that. It's like a lot of rosaries in here. So I am going to, um, y'all know I have been collecting stuff for my church, so um, to take on that mission trip. Oh, beautiful. This is a wooden rosary. These are beautiful, Kathleen. Very nice. They're very well made, too. They will thoroughly enjoy those. These are the, the shorter rosaries, I think, for you to hold like this. They're probably long enough. No, they're not long enough, so they're... um. They're the hand rosaries. The, I can't remember what you call them because I'm not Catholic, but aren't those beautiful? I'm a good old-fashioned Baptist. That we're not one of those radical Baptist churches, but yeah. There's um, three of these pretty. They look wooden, but they may be... Nope, these are wooden. These are beautiful wood beads, too. They look like oak, maybe. Very nice. So, um, I see three of those. They're going to love these, Kathleen. But yeah, my church asked, um, because I, they know that I do the jewelry, if I would get um, together some religious artifacts and stuff to take to um, the Haitian women when they go to the mission trip in December. So... Um, Oh, wow, look at this one. This is so cool. And this is a large one, too. This is the largest one I've gotten so far. Look how big that one is. That is so cool. And it, it's it got some really cool beads. They look like glass beads. Yeah, I can tell by the hole in the center that they're glass. Usually, can you, I don't know if you can see that, but usually when you see that in the center, that usually is glass. You see, like, white in the center. But this is beautiful. Look at the detail on that, all the end caps. Those are beautiful, Kathleen. And that's a nice, long, full-size rosary. Very nice. This looks very... Oh, look at that. This looks very, very old. Got um, the Virgin Mary right there, you know, on the back. This looks seriously old. Yeah, really old. Probably older than vintage. It has... I don't know if that's MP or NR. Can't tell. There's a initials right there. NP or NR. And like I said, I'm not Catholic, so I don't know if that stands for anything. But these are beautiful enough to make you want to convert to Catholicism, aren't they? 
That was a joke, people. That was a joke. That was a total joke. Oh, wow. Nice. This one's really pretty, too. This one has, um, this one's a larger one, too. This one also has some initials on the back. It says, um, this one says Italy, so this one's Italian made. Kathleen, this one almost looks like silver. The cross does. And I think it's, you know, it almost looks like, let me see if it's wood or jet. Yep, it's wood, so I don't know if that's symbolic. The cross is wood. And the beads are, um, the beads feel like a really heavy acrylic. But this one also looks like really old. And it's a possibility that some of these really old ones could be Bakelite too. Um, this one doesn't feel heavy enough to be, but um, check those because you never know when you get those really old or antique ones. They could be, um, and they look like heavy acrylic, they could be, but that's really pretty. These are really nice. Kathleen, do you get um, jewelry jars or where do you find all of your rosaries? Looks like you've been collecting them for a long time. So the NR up there must mean something um, and probably something really silly that I'm missing this one's also beautiful too look at the color of that it's kind of a um, almost a bluish gray color but this one's really pretty too and this one looks like um, glass beads too very nice it's on that beading chain so very nice Wow, quite a few. We got one. They're going to love this, Kathleen. Two, three, four, five, six. Wait a minute. One, two, three of the big ones and three of the small ones. Uh, this one's purple and white. This one almost looks like meat, uh, milk glass. This is a St. Christopher's, is it? No, this is not a St. Christopher's. I take that back. Joseph something Joseph I T E A D I O S E P H maybe that's supposed to be I don't know if anybody's Catholic maybe you can tell me what that means maybe it is St. Christopher's on the back Angel D E I Q U I S I guess it's Italian um, Custos, C U S T O S. So, if you're Catholic, maybe you can tell me what that means. This is pretty too. It's um got purple and white beads, and this also looks very old, too. This is beautiful, though. And one more. And this one looks blue. Very nice. Thank you so much, Kathleen. My church is going to really appreciate that. I have a couple of white ones like this, too. That's a lot of rosaries. Thank you. There's, what, seven, eight there? And then one more thing in that packet. Oh, my goodness. So this must be what she's talking about. She sent something for me. Ah, ah. She knows I like my bling. <laughs> Very nice, Kathleen. Look at this. Aren't these gorgeous? Oh, look how delicate and gorgeous those are. Oh, now I can't wait to wear these. Look how beautiful. They're so delicate, too. And these look vintage, too. Pretty. Very pretty. And then hoops. And these are the perfect size for me. Nice. They're um, a gunmetal. And they have the backs that I like. These are just so much easier, these backs. And I think they work very well. I will definitely wear those. Oh, aren't these pretty? 
RSVP. I've heard of this brand. Aren't those beautiful? So y'all know that I like the um, rhinestone jewelry for sure. Oh, look at this. Oh, I have a necklace that will match this perfectly. Look at the sparkle. Oh my god, that is so pretty. Okay, I'm not going to wait to dress up to wear that one. That one's going on now. Huh. Thank you so much, Kathleen. I really, really appreciate it. But I can't wear, wait to wear these. Aren't they pretty? Gorgeous. Both pairs. These almost have a, uh, um, like a rose... Well, I think that's my lighting. These are gold, I think, instead of silver. And, you know, these are almost always set in silver. So that's very unusual. I like that. It's almost a rose looking. I have to wait until I get in another lighting. But that's really unusual because almost always these rhinestone earrings are set in silver. So that looks really cool with the, the I think it's rose colored gold. Very nice. Yeah, it says on the back, rose gold. So, um, beautiful, though. I love them, Kathleen. Thank you. I will wear all three pairs for sure. Absolutely. And I'm definitely wearing the bracelet tomorrow. So, last thing I wanted to show you was my friend Cindy that I had showed you um, all of the other items. Now, she did um, finally get... Um, a down payment she's still making payments but she did finally get enough of a down payment to actually get the car and is does now have a car um, still got to get those payments made but she is um, you know happy though she has a car and thank you guys your the things you guys purchased helped so most of this I'm going to show you now is um, either silver or um, 18 karat gold plate um, our rolled gold and the first thing though is this and this is absolutely beautiful this is Alaskan Scrimshaw she got this when I think she went to Alaska in 2000 and she found this I think at a second hand store and it is made from um, well or not well but um, walrus ivory like walrus tusk so it's walrus ivory you can see from the back of it it has um, a date and a maker there. They're really hard to read, so I'm going to have to study that. It looks like um, maybe, let's see, what did I come up with finally, I think. I'm going to have to track down the maker of this to figure out the value of it, but it looks like it might say um, G A. I-L-S-O-N, I think might be what it says, but I'm going to research that a little more. And I can't tell if it says, it looks like it might say 1971. I'm not sure. She thought it said 1958, but I don't see that at all. I see maybe an either 1971 or 1975. I'll have to research that further, but um, that is going to get listed on... Um, eBay as soon as I determine the value of it and this will help her to get those car car payments and you know, hopefully get the whole thing paid she did not get a new car she got a used car but you know it will help her get the make some more payments on it and get it down the next is this sterling silver ring I did test this this is marked sterling um, so this is definitely old it's vintage um, and it is pre-copyright so it does not have a copyright sign it does have a maker's mark next to where it says sterling but it's one of those that's stamped so hard in there that you can't really plus it's like got a lot of like black patina in there so I can't I can't really read it but I will clean out the inside so maybe I can read it and I believe the stone the stone is really rough it's lost its polish because it looked like somebody actually wore it a lot by looking at the band at some point 
and I can't remember where she said she got this, but I believe it might be Egyptian. That looks like a scarab and some wings. And I think if you polish this stone up again, it's a, it's a, it looks, it's the color of a um, star sapphire. So I believe it's a star, blue star sapphire. You just, when you look at it up close and with the glass, that's what it looks like. But it needs the polish to bring back the, um, reflection of the star you know how the star makes that it makes that star point on it um you can't really see it because it's really dull but i think if you did that that's what you will find because it does look like a blue sapphire to me so um there's that and like i said that is mark sterling and then there's these earrings these are also sterling and these are marked 925 up here these are vintage but they're not as old as the ring these are vintage though um, she herself has had them long enough to be considered vintage oops I just bent that a little bit um they're this kind of back i did test everything too to confirm that it is 925 and this is 925 uh, when I first saw it, I thought they might be amber, but after looking at them closely, I think it's the confetti glass, and I think they use that a lot in, now this does not have a copyright or any kind of uh, maker's mark that I can see. Um, it does have, like I said, it is marked to 925. Um, where did I see the 925? Yeah, 925 right, right there. And... Um, but it does look like the confetti glass. I don't know if y'all are familiar with that, but I see when I look at it in some <laughs> directions, it almost looks like, yeah, I think it's the confetti glass. It's not amber. It's the perfect color for amber and it has a lot of inclusions. Like I'm still not convinced it's not amber. But I will get somebody to look at those to make sure that it is. Yeah, it's very strange. But I'll show you up close. These are beautiful, though. These are really pretty earrings. So those will get listed on eBay also. If somebody wants those and wants to make an offer um, on any of this stuff from my friend, it's um, jewelrynurse1 at gmail.com. Just send me an offer via um eBay I mean via um, Gmail and then these are sterling silver these I believe to be artisan made I did test these and they test um, definitely test sterling I couldn't find a mark on them anywhere and I believe these also to be maybe Middle Eastern um, by the design I'm not really sure but they're totally unique they don't have hooks on them anymore I'm going to put hooks on them I think she said um, one of her aunts or somebody and Cindy's like older so her aunt uh, is no longer with us but I believe she said her aunt gave them to her and this is how she used to wear them I'm going to put silver hooks on them but that's how she used to wear them she will put this post in there and so she could wear them that way but i'm going to go ahead and put hooks on them but these are beautiful they're fairly large the, oops so uh, i need to break the point on those let me see if i have my let me pause and find my um glass i mean my tapes i can tell oh, wait a minute my tapes right there i'm going to tell you how long they are they are just over two inches well, they're like two and a quarter so they're fairly good size if you include the the hook or the the little loop they're like two and a quarter wait a minute yeah they're about two and a quarter if you include that but they are beautiful check these out And like I said, these are not stamped, so I believe them, and see the bottom, I believe them to be artisan made, but they've got some beautiful detail. So there's those. I don't think these balls are silver, but um, put that back in there so I don't lose it. But that was a clever way to wear them. 
I believe I have some silver hooks from some oddball silver earrings that don't have matches. So I will put the hooks on those. And then this is um, the chain and the pendant both are 18 karat gold filled. It's white gold filled and it's uh, it says rolled gold basically. 18 karat rolled gold. What did it say? It says 18 karat... Yeah, 18 K R G P and that's basically means rolled gold. And um it's a nice chain. It's a really fine um not snake chain, but uh serpentine, I believe you call that serpentine. And the pearl is real in the setting. The diamond is not. I tested the diamond. It's just a um it probably is CZ, but the pearl is real. And um, the setting is, I believe, also 18 karat plated. And this um, turns out that the chain is Italian silver. It's a fine box chain. It, it definitely has some tarnish. It needs to be cleaned up. Um, and it does have a vintage um, spring ring. And the little thing right there says Italian on one side and 925 on the other and the ring itself says 925 and then this is a blue oh i'm mean not blue but a black opal and it is set in believe it or not 10 carat it's not marked so i think it's fairly old it is not marked and the way they sometimes set opals you can just happen to see it on this one is sometimes they'll leave opal i could can see that black line across the bottom they'll leave opal on the matrix sometimes to make it appear larger than it is or to raise it up out of the setting when they like bezel set it so um but usually you don't see that but the way they set this you do but it has a lot of fire in it i i don't i don't see it on this screen but if you look at it in person it has a lot of red and greens and blues in it. I'm trying to get it to flash the red for you, but it has a lot of a lot of flash in it. And it did test 10 karat. I'm going to show you. I'm going to do a little scratch test, just a small one, because I don't want to damage the thing. Okay, now that sounds like I'm damaging it, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, so I made the mark, and hopefully I can show you this without it running. I'm going to put, this is the 10 carat. I'm going to put the 10 carat on it. It tested positive for 10, but negative for 14. So I put that on there. All right, I'll hold it up where you can see it. Um, put it on there. You can see that the gold is not disappearing. Um, but when I did that with 14, it disappeared. But as you can see with the 10 carat, it is not disappearing. It looks like it is from that angle, but it isn't. That's just because it's wet. Yeah, but it did test 10 carat. There, there, you can see it's still there. So, um, but like I said, it is not marked, and but it is 10 carat and is not plated because if it were plated, you, you see that like after you do the scuff test like I just did, you can see the other metal showing through, and that is not the case here. So it is solid, whatever, um, white gold. So there you go. So that is it for the last of Cindy's, my friend Cindy's items. Um, I will get those listed this week. But if you're interested in any of those, like I said, just email me. Um, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, um, please subscribe. Please hit the like button on the way out. And um, please leave a comment. Love your comments. I'm a little behind. I need to go um, read all of your comments from my last video. And I will do that. Um, 
probably why I'm um, relaxing tonight, ready to go to sleep. I'm just about to go hop in bed because i got to work in the morning. But thank you, everybody, for um, watching my video. And I will let you know on the earrings. So far, I don't feel them even in there. So I'll let you know how comfortable they are. But thank you and have a good night. And thank you to any new viewers or new subscribers. And welcome back all my old ones. Love y'all.